All right, this is a second part of, um, I'm going to take you through uh, some of my solves. So hopefully you'll get something out of this if you didn't get something out of the first one. Um, I might go a little bit faster in this one just so you know. I won't be explaining each step by step. Uh, hopefully you'll just follow what I do. I'm not going to go like really, really fast, but I'm going to go faster than uh, the other video. So I see the red right here. see the blue right there. I see orange right here green right there. So, I'm going to do a U2 for the blue. So I can lift up the orange at the same time. Lift up the orange and then the green right there. And then I'm going to do this right away. Uh, just trigger like that. Probably wasn't the best thing to do, but that's what I would have done. Um, then I'm probably going to do this. Probably not Again, not the best thing to do, but then I see this one, and then I see this F12 pair right here. Insert it, and then OLO, and then U prime. Type F1 right there. Oh, this one it looks really, ooh, really easy. So I got the green right here, the red right here, uh, orange, and then blue. So I'm gonna um. I'm going to insert the red with my ring, just do a D, so that way when I do a R, a little R prime, I could just do a U, and an F2, that way I could do the orange and the blue. So, uh, again, I'm lifting up the red with a D, and then I see this, and I have a really cool F12 trick for this one, but since it's set up nicely, I could just do a, uh, I'm going to insert it right here. Um, let's see. And then, I see uh, this. So I'm going to do that one. And then that's a nice F12 pair right there. Easily set up. And I flip it over here. Do that one. And then, C-O-L-O. -O, U-perm. Two U-perm so far. Okay, this that was a uh, that was a guy on uh, Guhong. Diane Guhan, whatever, you know what I mean. Anyway, okay. So the next one, this is a uh, ghost hand number two. You can tell by the little logo. So uh, this is blue, green, red. Lift up the blue, go over the green, red. I see this, so I'm gonna do that, and then bring it over here, and put it in the back slot. So then I move it over, and then I see. I see the uh, orange and green, and right as soon as I see that, I know it's going to connect this, the red and the green somehow. So I see that, and then it's connected, it's back here, so I insert it like that. Do a L2 and an R, and then I see this one. That one is easy to set up. A lot of the things you notice I do in the back slot, it's a little bit weird, but it's a lot more convenient for me that way. Otherwise, I would have to do some awkward F turn. And, um, the thing about uh, cross on the side is like you could do cube rotations, but I find it a lot easier to do uh, L turns. So like that's one of the convenient things about it that you don't have to like take off both of your hands; you just take off one of them. So yeah, um, I'll make a tutorial about it later, how to get started cross on left. But yeah, um, oh well, uh, U perm. Ah, uh, no U perm. A perm. I really don't like this cube too much just because uh, I can feel it like, just wanting to pop and it locks up a lot, but eh, it's good sometimes. Uh, so this, what do you got here? Ooh, this one's a little bit tricky. What I would do is move over the blue, lift up the orange, um, do L2 and can lift up the green and the blue and then move the red up there and like that. I see the F2 up here right here and keep my eye on this one. I see the corresponding edge right there. Keep my eye on that one. I see the, um, I see the respective edge for the blue and orange. At the same time I realize I'm putting this one in there. So um, what I could do, here's a trick right here. 
to get that one right here. You notice how the F2 up here is nice and neat right there. What I could do is it'll mess this one up, but which is a lot easier, I guess, than what I would have done like that and then doing this. Either way, it's good. So yeah, I guess I'll just go from here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I see all. Oh, G perm. Okay, and then this one. What I'm gonna do? Ooh. What am I gonna do? Ah, shouldn't take this long. This is a really horrible cross. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up the, um, put the blue opposite the orange right there. Lift it up like that. And then put the blue, uh, did I say blue before? I meant orange. Well, I'll put the blue right here underneath the red. So that way it goes, when I do that, I just do R2 and then I could just put the green, the blue and the green in like that with D moves and U moves. And so, um, that was awkward. Oh, this one comes in handy right here. It's, um, the inverse of the trick I just showed you in the last one. So it's connecting this one and this edge right there. If you notice how fast that is, well, on a better cube it would be. So it connects these two and it puts them in here. And I notice this right here. And then I put it like that. This pair right here. And I notice that I could easily put it under there like that. And then oil oil. And then V perm. Alright, that was it. Oh, well, let's just do one more solve. Um, this time I'll time myself. At the same time, I'll give you a walkthrough. So it might be a little bit faster than what we just did. Um, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. So I'm going to, for the cross, I'm going to do the orange, even though it's messing up the blue. I'm going to put it across the red. And then, uh, once I do the orange, I'm going to move the green over, and then with the green, I'll lift up the blue. So I just watch. And then that's that. I see this pair right here. And then this, this pair right here. And then this pair right here. Like that pair is already connected. And then G -turn. Uh That was uh, 16 seconds, which sucked. But hey, I was giving you a walkthrough. Let's, let's do one more just to redeem myself. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Okay, so I will do the cross. I won't explain it because it's a little bit complicated, but. Again, that was a slow F2L. And I hate G perms. That sucked. Okay, but that was 12 seconds. You get the point. Um, I'll go faster next time, I swear, uh, as far as F2L, like actual speed solve. But, um,. I hate G-perms. One-handed or not. They just suck. And I'm trying to get used to this whole pinky action. I'm usually a ring finger person. Before I couldn't use my pinky at all. It was just weird. But now I'm getting used to this motion right here, which is really awkward for me. Anyway, yeah, enough of that. That's for another video. Um, yeah, I hope you uh, learned something out of that. If you didn't learn something, I hope you were at least entertained by uh, uh, some of what I said or some of what I did. Um, some of the stuff I uh, showed you was interesting. Hopefully you learned something. Um, until next time, I'll show you a video of how to get started with uh, Cross on Left.